Hey everyone, Technometry here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add widget to your iPhone lock screen on iOS 18. So let's get started. Now, there's two ways to do this. First thing we need to get into is the edit mode. So you can press and hold and that will activate this menu. Now, if that doesn't work, you can also go into your settings and then go to wallpaper and then click on this word that says customize, which will also open up the same exact menu when you do it from the lock screen. And from there on, you have the option to add widgets. So if I tap on that, it'll give me the option to add all of these widgets that are available from things like weather, a clock, fitness, a temperature, sunset, sunrise, even things around stock market, battery life, and for some apps as well that are listed here, you can search through it and see what available widgets are available that you like to get. So in our case, I'm gonna select a few of them so I select a couple of them. So the thing is automatically arrange it and then you can arrange it as well by moving it and dragging it around, whatever you're comfortable with. And then once you click on that X and then tap anywhere or tap done here, it will go ahead and save that setting. And if I go ahead and lock it, you can see the widget has been added. And then soon later we should see the data for those as well. Again, now if you did it from the lock screen, same exact thing happens when you press and hold it will prompt you for your face ID or passcode, then it'll get in this mode. You can tap on customize, click on lock screen here. And then here we can go ahead and tap here. And then if we wanted to remove one, we can always select it and add a different one. Just like that, tap on it and then click on done. And then you can go ahead and see that's how you can go ahead and add custom widgets to your lock screen on your iPhone. Simple as that. And I hope this video is helpful if so. Please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.